No pass? You wish to pass through this gate, try inspecting the satellite dish at the foot of the wizard tower. Is, is the wizard tower, it's got the gems. Felt good to be the boss. Three down, one to go. And this, what is this one again? Right, level up the nanobots. I can't believe these can still get more powerful. They're already insane. Flight blocking, an, a shield is pretty good. And it automatically attacks something that could come into its lane. Okay, we take the sentry here for just the free damage. This is the ultimate ruby piece. <laughs> I swear my, my free units, my, my side deck is better than half my main deck. Okay, so I was supposed to repair something at the base of the wizard tower. But first I want to trash a card for six robo bucks. What am I scrapping? Probably the 49er. Or maybe the exoskeleton. Later. Repair something at the base of the wizard tower. Is it this? I have repaired it. I may now go north. I believe. Ah, I may enter. What is it? You unlock the gate, so carry on. I have so many files to inspect. Sorry to bother you, I just wanted to chat. Yes, this area is good. What's this feeling? Pride? Feels weird. Feels weird indeed. Okay, level up my nanobots again. This one is free. Your empty vessels are going to be conduits now. Don't worry about it. Right, these are the things that will buff units in between. It'll, how do I put this? It'll buff my units that are in between two empty vessels. Okay, I'm ready for a fight. I don't need to explore. Conduit tower. Yeah, I may complete a circuit. No conduit. And the buff conduit. Here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna put a ruby vessel down right here. So it just one shots whatever comes in its lane. And then that's all I can do right now. Later. Smoked you. Well, now I can play both an energy and a sniper bot, right? Trying to make my way to towards Orobot. Pick off the automation. So you will go here. And then next turn, I'll get Orobot. So I am going to... I'm going to attack the empty space. Right now. That leap bot can go soon. I draw from my deck now. Fish bot's pretty solid, huh? Fish bot here. And my exoskeleton here. And Orobot can wait. Yeah, shield bot will... It won't die, but it'll basically be gotten rid of. Just keep da dealing damage down the line. Easy. Ooh, a ladder or... What is this? You probably think what I do is easy. Fiddle with the numbers, tweak the graphics, and voila! Botopia is made. No, you're wrong. You try making a card. Go ahead. But first, pick one to recycle. Which one do I prefer? I still think it will be the exoskeleton. One SP. All right, genius, go for it. Spend S3, SP on stats and sigils. You get more SP for a higher energy cost. Whoa, okay, so I... It costs two SP to increase attack, one to increase health. I get more... Ah, SP if I increase its power. And then what kind of abilities can I give it? I see. I can get some pretty powerful stuff, actually. Let me go for a little bifurcation. All right, that's a pretty powerful one, no denying it. And then... This is the Brita one. Upon attacking, it perishes. I could just give it a bunch of negative <laughs> uh, sigils. This one. So now I have more SP. And now I will increase its attack by a bunch. Then I could spend something else as 1 SP or decrease its cost. Yeah, 3 damage bifurcation. And it has negative effects, but I'm kind of planning to place this as a as an insta-kill. Like, these two negative effects kind of have an anti-synergy with each other. This is a great card. I would like this card. Oh, I see. There's this section. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, the wig, the keyboard face, and the thumbs up. Perfect. It's uh, your dead buddy. <laughs> Big fat 2000. Big fat boy. It's not really fat. Big smart boy. Big good boy. Big shoot boy. Big shoot boy. I like it. 
Big shoot boy. How very creative, I know. Some call me an artist. I should be able to send the components down the line. Here it goes. This is incredible. It's all right, I guess. I think it's pretty strong. Let's go up. Fix that one, don't I? Recycle could be okay. Trade. Kind to sell. If a card bearing the sigil is within a circuit when it perishes, a random card is created in your hand. Oops. Not what I meant to buy. I meant to right click. This clearly is trifurcation. This could be interesting. I mean, if I give it trifurcation, if it's in a circuit, that's not the worst move ever. Well, I could get rid of my 49 ers It's my last two cost unit. I guess. Why not? I didn't even get to see a third card because I made the wrong click. Thankfully, you know, none of this matters, but... Oi, mate. Look at me now. Something of a celebrity around here. Me reward for dredging up that thing. I got... Get to be something of a dialogue NPC. Okay, I climbed it. Give me my money. Something fins a little strange for sure. PO3 let me talk, eh? But not a boss? Not one of them uberbots? Even Leshy did that for his mates. Do I have six Robobox? I do. I do want to trash something. If I'm being honest, I might pick the one I just picked up. Because this is, if a card bearing a sigil is within a circuit, it'll strike each opposing space to the left, right, center of it. Having conditionals is not something that I want for my deck. I want consistency, not conditionals. I will get rid of you. I came from down, right? Yeah, fight time. Okay, what am I looking at? Splinter Cell. I am not too worried about that one. My ultimate ruby vessel will easily take care of it. <laughs> it dies before his stuff even shows up. Might just rush the big shooty boy. Big shoot boy. So I'm going to place this down in front of the single one and then get a sniper bot down. No, shield bot deals more damage. Here is the move. And then the bifurcation will get him. And it's basically over. Good fight. Thanks for playing. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, this deck is severely overpowered. I am still addicted to adding cards to it. Maybe I'll accidentally make it harder for myself. Busted 3D printer? Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, draw a card from your empty vessel pile. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. My empty vessels are very powerful. Okay, another tower I must climb. It's working, I think. Down I go. Down I go again, and another tower. Should be all four, yeah? Well, maybe I need to go to the dude now? Oh no, this is all active. Ooh, I've ascended. Well, Splinter Cell, Sentry Drone, Kind Cell, the Stink. I will take Splinter Cell because maybe I could give it, maybe it could have an upside somehow. Actually, I'll get rid of the Gem Guardian. The Nano Armor doesn't matter because they don't deal damage back when hit with Nano, nano Armor. So I'll get rid of this guy. Ooh, all right, another house we're approaching. It's crazy how often my items get replenished, but it doesn't matter at all. See anything familiar? Yeah, a little bit. All right, I'll take the fight first. Okay, I've got some circuits. Yeah, that splinter cell's annoying. I don't like where that is. Well, I could destroy the conduit tower. Yeah, and kill off his splinter cell. I'll do that. Rip to the towers, but ruby vessel's better. Boom, and boom. I'll still draw from my deck. Look for something better. Yeah, it's not a good draw. Well, actually, it might trifurcate. I guess it actually might, because I have the towers. Well, free damage. I will again draw from my deck. Double gunner is solid. Well, these complete a circuit, right? So maybe this will trifurcate. Nice. Thanks for being useful. I kind of win right now. Yes. Uh, an upgrade? Thank you very much. Do I have a sniper bot I would like to upgrade? Maybe this one? Yeah, if I could get bifurcation on this, I would be happy. Okay. Eternal energy is pretty good. 
Sentry. I might go for Energy Cell. Again, Bifurcate's the best one, but this'll do. This'll help me get to my expensive stuff more quickly. The memory unit on this one won't be able to take much more. It's just the kind of a shame, though. It feels that my decisions don't matter because all plays are good plays when it comes to this deck. That being said, this fight might be hard, so maybe I I'm about to eat my words. I kind of hope I am. So I can wipe out the automation. Time for you to die. And Fishbot next turn will be excellent. Don't have too much time. I will try to rush Double Gunner. So show me one of these. Take a Ruby Vessel and a Fishbot right here. I am Fish, yes you are. gonna be close. Here's how I'm gonna play this. I'm going to actually take my vessel, pop down my vessel, delete the tower, and play the ripper. Four attack is very good. And their time is almost up. Was taking so long? Oh, you know nothing. I think double gunner is the winning play here. Goodbye, Ruby Vessel. Hello, Double Gunner. Yeah, that's GG. <laughs> that is super uber overkill. Botobia, thanks you for your service. Let's move on. I get no extra money. Never mind. So now you probably see how it isn't easy. Balancing these cards, making them good. Making them too good. Try again. Go. Yeah, I, I love making these cards. They always end up disgusting. My cards are becoming so good, I'm starting to win before turn 6 even happens. So I think I'm going to actually get rid of my Bolt Hound because it costs 6. And when I mean turn 6, I just mean the point where I get 6 mana. If I play my cards right, I won't even get to the point where I need a Bolt Hound. So I think I can just yeet that from my deck. Goodbye. And now I get a lot of points. I don't get a lot of points. <laughs> I'm sorry, I expected to see like 10 extra SPs. Well, well, well. Okay, well, maybe I'll just replace with another six cost that's better. Let's see though. I mean, I'm still gonna keep doing the same build style because let's be real, tripling down on the strategy is insane for a deck. But I understand how it might feel repetitive. Listen, it's not my fault that the other strategies simply suck. This isn't that bad a card. All right, for a little bit extra, I'm going to give this one flight. Because, I don't know, this might be a benefit. Especially since this is supposed to be an insta-kill unit. I probably should have even put flight on the others. So, all right, I'll customize it. See, uh, maybe a old football helmet. Or on me a backyard football. What is that face? I'm sorry, for, sir. Your face has gone Picasso. All right, now he's got the shoulder pads, too. All ready for a big, fat fight. Big fat thing. Big help thing. <laughs> there we go. Uh, this will help. The big help thing. Welcome to my deck. You name it, big help thing. Scanner operational. Time to do this. <laughs> this card is OP. <laughs> it is though. I'm glad you caught on, Luke. Anyways, is that all I can do here? Oh, I can touch this. Don't forget the satellites. Hopefully I didn't miss any. Does this thing work yet? Oh. Probably my least favorite boss coming up. Which might be making it my favorite. Something about her innocence, it makes me queasy. But it's important that you do this. Unpacking golly.zip. Golly. That's my name. You can call me golly. I'm so excited. We're about to explore it. The web. I sure hope I can get a good connection. Here we go. Nifty, we're in. Isn't the web wonderful? Oh no. So that's what a mole really looks like. Adorable. Truly amazing. I can't wait till you show the picture of the sniper. Well, only one play. I'll just get you off to the side. Nifty! I think I'm getting a signal. What are these? 
Are these your friends? Oh, Steam friends. Wow, I did not see that one coming. What's up, Friff? There is absolutely no chance that he's watching it. Someone alert him that he made a cameo in my video. I have some expensive stuff in my hand. I'm gonna do one of these so I can get a Ruby Vessel and Sniper Bot out. This is the Undying Sniper. Meh. Uh, then I'll be able to get out one of these big things and it'll all be over. Because the mole's gonna go wherever, I might as well leave the mole where it is so that the two attack creature doesn't advance. Whoa, a new signal! Someone is trying to send you a card. Let's see if we can receive it. Oh boy, wow. Oh golly, it didn't work. Something to do with our connection. Let's see if I can get you something else from the web. What the hell is the game trying to do? Mummy Lord. Holy beep! That's what a Mummy Lord looks like. Why would you give me this terrible card when I can have the big help thing instead? I will draw for my deck just to maybe get something good down the line. Well, it's a six cost. I think it's time to get out the big help thing because it's basically you, but better. So I will place it down right here. And the sniper bot will take out the air blocker so this thing can deal six uninterrupted damage. Good deal. Get owned, Friff. You got a card from the web. Don't you think you should return the favor? Make a card for someone else? Oh, that's what this is. <laughs> Are we ready? All right, all right. Here's how it's gonna go. Maximum cost, six cost. Let's see, what kind of trolley symbols can I add first? This is the important thing. Flight. Flight's good, flight's good. I like that. Touch of death. I want that for a zero attack card that's quite good. Plus energy, which is useless at the, well, because for cards that cost six, gaining an energy does nothing unless if you happen to have a one cost card also in your hand, that's so unlikely. And what else? <laughs> and it's a sniper card. You may choose where this attacks or rather where it doesn't attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, hands up. I love this face. And make it do a power stance. Surprise! Dad. Saint Doctor? Saint? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Maybe go Doctor, maybe? Dr. Screwmatic. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Dr. Screwmatic here to fix all your problems. Wh whoever gets that is going to love it. I'm about to send it off to the web. I hope, wh hope whoever gets it likes it. Me too. The web can be lonely. I couldn't find anyone. Well, maybe one day that card will find someone floating out there in desperate need of a savior from their deck. One damage away from dying, hoping for anything that can get them out of a terrible situation. And they get Dr. Screwmatic. Let's carry on. I suppose you'll have to take the card. Shit. Oh, I didn't expect this. Hope you weren't trying to troll someone. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. Goodness, my deck has a lot of good cards. But now I have to win with you, don't I? Oh, there's some pretty powerful ones out there, huh? Uh, the good news is I can kind of just go to the next phase now with a single card. The big shoot boy. Let's draw again. Good. Very good fish bot. Yeah, why don't I just deal six damage and totally negate the on... Crap. Awkward. I forgot about the mole. I forgot to give it flight! Oh no. Back to the last waypoint you reach. Listen, it's like... Just get back to where you were, right? Not so easy. All the rogue bots in the area just respawned. Son of a bitch! How did I forget that didn't have flight? I got used to one having the flight. It's because I made the other one in my previous play session. I forgot about it. Okay, take two. You're making me do this again? Yeah! Golly, it's glorious. Adorable. Let's get out some good ones. Then I can get down double gunner, I guess, in the meantime. 
So again, I will probably draw a mana increaser so I can ramp to max. And then I should probably bro block both of these incoming units. And then plop down a shield bot. And run it back in. Two damage is not a big deal. Look at me, just killing my friends. Great time. Golly, someone is trying to send you a card. I'll try to pick it up. Oh, it worked this time. Big fat. Wow. There, oh, I skipped over it, sorry. There sure are some funny people on the web. The exclamation arc is good, I should use that. That's genius. Wait, this is a good creature. You gave me a banger one. Is that why I couldn't send Dr. Screwmatic? Because it was just simply too powerful for the internet to handle. I'm gonna draw from my deck, I think. Sniper bot can be good. Yeah, this card's actually pretty nuts. I'm getting you down right now. And getting you down. I'll let's send it. Uh, too bad the mole's gonna block extra damage here. I can at least put this here to have the mole die. I supposed. Oh, this is still going. Okay, but I'm about to deal lethal damage next turn. Keep drawing for my deck. Yeah, the board's gonna get wiped, so I should just let this ride. Get owned. Time to pay forward that favor you got. That card that someone else made? Make it good. Your success depends on it. Alright, so I have to make a card that's only a certain amount of powerful. Not overly powered like the previous card, otherwise it's gonna get sent back to me. Random's good. Random pushing one. I like it. Give it a shield too, so it doesn't just die. And then... Well, who says it needs to have four? Just make it really hard to kill. Oh, but it's gotta... I gotta bring up the cost then. I guess I can't add that many stats. Perfect. Alright. New look. What else is there? Forehead's nice. Maybe a standard face with a large forehead. So, so some really nervous thumbs up. Alright, so his whole <laughs> body is just a giant rectangle. There we go. Alright, what about... Is there a long? There's a tall... Tall toot. Tall toot? Tall toot. I mean, this is no big fat, is the issue. Holy toot's not too bad. I could see someone unironically saying holy toot out loud. <laughs> Whatever, I'll send it. And away it goes. Waiting on the web. Wait, really? Wait, is this maybe checking... So what I thought was happening was that it would maybe be sending it just to a server and eventually it would be sent out to someone. But the way they're making it sound is that it's being sent to someone right now. Wow, I found someone on the web to receive your card. Wow, if they win, you win. How about that? Wait, if that's actually a mechanic? Hold on a moment. They can win with the holy toot. They're thinking hard over there. Oh, yikes, they misplayed pretty hard. Oh. <laughs> really? Even with that god card I gave them? It's a close match. Give better, closer commentary, damn it. I need more detail. It's a shame they couldn't get my previous card. That one was funnier. Oh, it's back now. What, they don't even say anything about the match? Really? You're just gonna leave me out to dry like that? What the hell? I'm going to keep drawing from my deck. Keep looking for cool things. Gem detonator. All right, so I gotta be sure to actually block this 5-2 with flying or deal damage. So this has the deadly touch. It will kill anything that it hits, aka the mole, and deal two damage, and then they'll deal six damage to me. Okay, now that I actually have to focus, I'll be down to one HP left, but then I can kill the 5-2 and simply out damage their stuff. Right, either way, I'm gonna do the plan I was talking about. I think this is fine, actually. So again, I'll deal two damage, get dealt six, and live. And then I'll be able to wipe out their stuff. Danger is right. What do I wanna play? Probably a high cost unit, so keep drawing for my deck. Gembound Ripper. I guess playing a three attacker is pretty decent. 
So my highest amount of damage. I will kill this unit, and then I'll deal five, and then I'll be back in this. Not what I expected, actually. Whoa! Okay, that is a six attacker. That, what does this do? Okay, it makes opposing creature gain extra power. This would almost be a good time for the Holy Toot, except I would need to place it exactly where this other unit is. Talk about bad timing. I think I'm actually going to take one of these as a blocking card, Ruby Vessel. Yeah, I'll go Ruby Vessel. Gem Detonator would be good if it wasn't for this Ripper. Oh, but then again, I think I, if I play this, this is, I would actually have enough damage because I think dealing six damage does it. That's fine. I'll take it. Sure, it's a bomb. Sure, it kills my thing, but it won't need to. That's quite enough of that. Okay. <laughs> Definitely made this fight way harder than it had to be. I just forgot how my deck worked. It's been a couple days. What, you wanted loot? That was the last Uberbot. What would you even need it for? The Great Transcendence is at hand. Go back to the start. More dramatic that way. Hold on a minute. I got a notification. What? It's nothing. You can pause the video if you would like to read that. I... Come on. <laughs> it's nothing to say. I'll believe it's nothing. It totally wasn't anything at all. Probably nothing. Go check it out right now. There was something in one of the rooms. I saw the pictures of where they wanted me to go in the room. And that was down this way, I believe. I'm not a robot. Oh, no. What is this? I love how I'm also the only one that can activate that. What? Ah! Hey! The Great Transcendence? No, we don't think so. 